So hello everyone. This is Victoria from Korea. So uh, we are so proudly to have Eileen here to talk about small business loan. Today we are going to concentrate on the topic of the payroll protection program. From 2 to 3 p.m. We'll, we will be doing this in Chinese and after 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. approximately, we will do it again in English versions. 揾到 Bank of the West 嘅 Eileen Chow 同我哋講下講解一下關於 Payroll Protection Program 好多人都有聽過 Small Business Loan Administration 但是就不清楚什麼是 Payroll Protection Program 或者你是否應該申請還有你會不會 Qualify在以下這個時間我交給 Before we start 我就想說, uh, webinar 可能是會可能很大機會是會能夠記錄了下來即是記錄即是錄影了那可能如果能夠的話如果我們的 channel,Korea的YouTube uh, yes, um, this is going to be in Cantonese in two p from two p.m. to three p.m. and from three p.m. to four p.m. will be in English. Um, Eileen will to when there is some terminology, she will try to mention it in Mandarin as well. Yeah, right? I'll try my best. Well, okay. I can speak Cantonese. Then, if there is try to speak Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sounds perfect. Okay. Okay. Let's go to start now. Okay. 大家好,你好。First of all, I want to just tell you that I am Bank of the West, but today I am not Bank of the West. Point of view, volunteer basis, program, 今天說的也不代表是不會改變,同埋我也希望每一位是跟你的CPA,同你的Attorney,去再詳細問一些問題,如果你有其他問題,of course,你可以加我email,我可以盡量解答大家,但是我就希望大家都知道,因為這個program這麼新,所以有些資料就算你去網站都有可能看到很多資料是還是舊的,我就盡我的能力是分享一下我知道的資訊是什麼。做SBA做了很多年,conventional,commercial,SBA,我自己本身做了很多年的SBA,那對於SBA的programs,我也比較熟悉。SBA可能大眾知道就是,我可以借錢以往那個所謂的叫做7A,as in 是SBA是一個umbrella,small 所以很多很多人,包括我們自己的lender也好,也有很多問題,還沒解答到的。我們unknowing收到的問題,我們也不會說100%的資訊去跟大家去解答你的問題。因為我們都是直接跟SBA,也有communication,我們也有很多問題可
，呢一個 loan 咧就係直接你要去 SBA 個 website 度 apply 嘅。咁呢個 application 已經開,開始咗成幾個星期噶啦，所以有可能我諗好多人都已經入去填咗個 application。咁之前佢個 website 話 OK， 嗰、那個你有一萬蚊係當一個 grant 咁樣啊，俾啲 small businesses。咁呢個 program 咧係 for businesses 有五百個員工啦 ，OK， 五百個員工或 less 啊。咁如果你係餐館或者 hotel 嗰啲行業，叫做 hospitality 嗰啲行業，咁係每一個 location 咧係唔可以多於五百個員工嘅。咁亦都係誒、嗯、另外嘅 restriction 咧，就係、是、如果你啲誒、呃、員工咧係個 salary 如果係十萬以上嘅話咧。你淨係可以計到佢十萬嗰、那個嗰、那個數，唔可以超過十萬。咁我哋陣間再 touch on 呢樣嘢。So on EIDL 你就直誒呢、呃這個貸款咧，就係、是、你向政府借錢嚟幫助你而家嗰個困難。咁就係 for pay for 你嘅 payroll 啦，你嘅租金啦 ，utilities 啊、um, ，或者你 own 個。You know, commercial property 係 for 你嘅 business， 咁嗰個 mortgage interest， 或者你有其他 business 嘅，誒、um, 嗰個 debt 嘅債務嗰個 interest， 咁亦都可以計埋喺入邊嘅。或者譬如你啲員工嗰個 retirement 啊、uh, contribution 啦，嗰、那個誒、uh, 如果你有 health care 嗰個 insurance 嗰個 premium， 亦都會計埋入去啦。或者你啲 sick leave， 咁都係 qualify for under 呢、這個誒呢、um, 個呢兩個 program 嘅。咁 EID 啊，誒、uh, 個人聽三千一萬咧，就係當係一個 grant 咁樣。咁 suppose 開始啱啱個 application 開始嗰陣時咧 ，SBA 就話：哦、oh, ，within 誒、uh, 三日，哦，佢收到你嘅 application， 佢 suppose 嚟就係可以 ，you know， 俾個 approval 俾你。但係 that is not reality， 其實你你都知道而家咁多人申請啦。咁 SBA 佢一年。係即係佢自己政府呢、這個誒呢、um, 個 SBA 嘅 office， 淨係可以 process 到五萬至六萬嘅 application。咁所以而家一下子咁你諗下，真係佢真正收到幾多 application？ 係仲係誒 six hundred thousand， 即係六十萬。I'm sure is 比呢個數仲更高，仲多。咁所以咧就係、是。我即係聽啲客人講，就係、是、你而家去誒申請呢個 EIDL， 你個 application 好好可能係 showing pending 啦，因為佢根本人手唔夠，再去 process 你個 application。OK， 咁呢個貸款咧，就如果你攞咗個一萬蚊，咁當然啦，你需要嘅誒係多啲資金嘅話，你亦都可以去申請多啲。咁佢呢個 maximum loan 咧，就係兩個 million。O.K. 兩百萬，咁呢個貸款可以係 up to 三十年 amortization， 即係話可以誒，佢冇同我哋講咧，就係、是、呢個貸款係咪俾你三十年去還？佢只不過係話 up to 三十年嘅 amortization。咁佢點樣去 define 即係需要你幾耐還翻咧？咁呢個我哋 lender 係唔知嘅。O.K. 咁個利息就係三點七五 percent fixed。定期三點七五，咁就冇任何嘅 SBA 嗰啲啦，誒、uh, 個 loan application fee 冇 processing fee， 咁亦都唔會有 collateral， 即係冇抵押，啊啊啊，冇 personal guarantee 嘅。咁如果你頭先我哋有提過就係、是、誒、uh, PPP 咧，而家就係、是、我諗。大家呢一個星誒呢一個星期上個星期。可能大家講緊嘅都係 PPP 噶啦，因為其實我哋收到嘅電話啲 email 咧係多到咧係真係冇辦法啊，冇、嗯、辦法去回翻啲客人好多時啊，啲 lender 每一個 lender 而家都係做緊呢樣嘢，咁誒好老實咁樣講，因為咁新，特別即係好似你話 PPP 咁樣，佢嘅出發點係好好嚇，但係咧嗰個 process。好多好多唔同嘅選擇，好多好多係未有呢個 infrastructure 誒、uh, 去去做呢件事嘅。啊、oh, ，What happened？ 聽到繼續。誒、欸，睇唔到我，等等下啊、uh, ，Victoria， 等等。好，我哋睇到你。靚咗喎。哦、oh, ，OK
誒係啦，咁、嗯、所以好多銀行咧，而家係其實講真啦，好老實講係誒，因為呢個咁咁大嘅嘅，即係一個好，其實佢嘅出發點係好，但係其實都幾 complicated。點解咁樣講咧？就係、是、誒、uh, ，for example， 就算即係你話 prefer SBA lender 都好咧，你做開以往係做 Seven A 啊或者五零四，咁你突然之間出依一個新嘅 program， 而好多問題咧係冇辦法答嘅，咁同埋啲文件啊。誒嗰啲 form 啊，誒、呃、亦都唔係話即係一個 form， 好多 lender 佢哋自己出佢自己個 application PPP 嘅 application， 咁同埋有啲 lender 佢就網站上邊你可以填個表格啦，咁有啲大部分嘅 lender 根本連網站嗰個表格咧都係冇嘅。舉個例子，啊、um, Bank of Bank of America， 我諗可能大家都知道喺拉尼。拉尼佢就係第一日第一個 lender， 第一個 major bank online 出咗個 application， 但係佢唔係接受每一個 applicant 喎。你要係佢個 bank business client， 佢當初講嘅就係話你要有 business account 啦，同埋你有誒即係 some kind of 即係佢公誒佢個銀行嗰個叫做 business lending product， 即係話你要有誒誒，譬如佢。佢個 business 嗰個 credit card 信用卡，或者嗰個誒 business 嗰個 line of credit 都算嘅，或者譬如你個 business 喺嗰度有個貸款，咁都算。咁後屘太多嗰個人，即係即係誒話佢咁樣唔得，咁所以佢就後屘改嗰個客人可以申請嘅 criteria， 就係你始終都要有個 business account， 即係你申請嗰個 business 個 account 要喺佢嗰度，加上咧。你唔可以喺其他銀行有其他嘅 lending， 即係你有其他嘅貸款喺銀行 for 你嘅 business 啊。咁所以咧，啲銀行就係而家暫時咧，就係大部分嘅銀行都係淨係接受誒自己個銀行客人，即係好似我哋 Bank of the West 咁，我我哋亦都係好好彩咧喺誒上個星期六，即係呢個 past Saturday。五點鐘咁，我哋嘅 online application 就出咗啦。咁而家暫時我哋都係淨係做緊啊 bank 個客人，即係話唔係 consumer account 喎，係你喺二月份今年嘅二月份之前有 business account， 咁就係我哋嘅 business client， 咁你就可以去我哋個銀行嘅嘅 website 去填表啦。嚇，同埋你可以。即係 once 填表之後，咁我哋會 send email， 你可以 upload 你啲 documentation。咁另外亦都有聽講，誒、um, Chase 咧，佢哋連個 online application 都係冇嘅。咁就係、是、誒、uh, 你要上去佢個網站，留低你嗰個聯絡嗰、那個 contact information。咁誒、uh, internal 啲 banker 咧，佢哋要入去攞客人嘅資料。跟住每一個客人去聯絡佢哋，再去填表，再去攞文件。咁所以你諗下啦，咁大嘅銀行，你咁多客人，咁你 get in the line， 你要等人去聯絡你，再去填表，再去誒誒、um, uh, ，you know provide 你嘅 documentation。所以嗰個 process 咧，其實就係非常之長嘅。咁呢個表格 suppose 嚟咧就係誒誒四月三號至到六月三十號。個表格即係、就是、接受嗰、那個嗰、那個填表，咁但係呢一個 program 佢係有嗰個限額嘅，資金嗰限額係誒、um, 你即係、就是、first come first serve 啦，即係佢完咗咧，你你就攞唔到噶啦，所以大家咁心急去申請咯，咁佢嘅資金總總資金 for 呢一個 program 咧就係誒三百四十九億美元，咁你 part of 佢嗰個叫做 CARES Act 嚇。誒、呃、嗰、那個 program 係二點三個 trillion， 咁佢就 allocate 咗三百四十九，三百四十九個 billion 咧係 for 呢個 PPP 嘅。咁再提醒大家咧，就係、是、PPP 係 for 你個 wages、salaries、retirement contribution、healthcare benefits、現所個 premium、你個誒、呃、員工嗰個 sick leave 或者你啲誒、呃、你個 business 嗰個貸款嘅 interest。咁你就可以申請啦。咁呢個數係點樣計法咧？即、就、係、是、你可以誒、呃、可以誒、呃、申請幾多咧？就係、是、你每誒攞、呃、一年十誒，即係佢係計歷上年二月份，即係 two thousand nineteen 二二月份至到今年 two thousand nineteen 嗰個平均嘅誒、呃、員工嘅 payroll， 咁就乘翻二點五
Okay. For example, let's say you got payroll, 全部所有個員工加埋曬一個月平均係十萬，咁你可以申請二十五萬咯。但係嗰個員工如果係個 salary 係超過十萬嘅話咧，咁你淨係可以計到佢十萬啫喎。如果 let's just say 你有個員工係你俾佢十五萬，嗰、那個五萬蚊你就唔可以計嘅。嚇，你而家攞翻佢出嚟，你計數嗰陣時。Uh, let me see. Oh, yes, and I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Come at the same time. Come to say you some whole applications I hold job for small businesses. Say you sub whole let out application. I start before the go sole proprietors or the contractors say the self employed ha the gay uh uh the gay uh the gong like work for a small business. I leave the gay uh self employed. Come in, girl. 嗰、那個 self-employ 咧，其實就係即係亦都有好多客人問嗱，我自己 self-employ 咧，細我自己一個人咁樣啊，譬如我係剪頭髮嘅啊，咁我自己一個人做，咁我算唔算咧？係咪 qualify 咧？咁 according to 資料，我哋睇嘅資料嚇，即係出呢啲 fact sheet 喺嗰個 US Treasury 個 website 咧，都係算嘅。如果你係誒、嗯、即係有 commission 啦 ，OK， 咁呢啲都係算。咁但係會唔會改咧？我哋唔知啦，因為呢個 program 係好新嘅，每即係每日咧，我哋都即係收到啲新嘅消息。誒、uh, ，for example， 啱啱開始嗰陣時，呢個 PPP 嗰個貸款誒、uh, 原本咧就係十年嘅 loan 嚟嘅，咁而家就係改咗兩年啦。你要 pay back， 即係 non-forgivable， 即係話佢誒你你攞咗呢筆錢。Let's just say 你 approve 咗啦 ，funding 出咗，去咗你個 account。咁你呢筆錢咧，你係 seventy five percent， 七十五個 percent 咧，你要用翻喺你個 payroll 上邊，先可以誒、um, 當先可以去申請當係 forgivable。誒、uh, 中文 forgivable 我就唔係好識講嚇，即係話即係豁免還款，唔使償還。係啦係啦，豁免咗唔使償還。係啦，唔使償還咁樣，咁所以咧，即、就、係、是、你攞咗呢個個 lender 分咗呢筆錢喺你個 account， 你六十日即係 within 八個星期，你要將呢筆錢咧係七十五日要翻喺你個 payroll，keep 翻你啲員工，先可以申再去個 lender 度俾翻啲 documentation proof 啊，係有用咗呢筆錢七十五 percent 喺 payroll， 咁佢哋先會去同你申請。誒、uh, ，即係話你唔使還呢一部分嘅錢。咁如果你要還嘅話咧，呢、这個貸款咧就係、是、兩年，你要兩年還完。咁佢六頭六個月咧係 defer， 即係六個月咧你係誒可以延長，唔使唔使俾住嗰個貸款嗰、那個 principal and interest 啊，嗰、那個嗰、那個誒、um, principal 誒、呃、本金同埋利息嗰個 payment 嚇。咁、啊、六個月之後你先俾嘅就係、是。誒個貸款總共係兩年，你要還完係一個 percent。啱啱佢推出個 program 咧係零點五個 percent， 所以如果你而家上去好多網站度睇咧，有可能嗰個 information 嗰個資料咧都係 show 住零點五 percent 嘅，但係 one 一個 percent 個利息，咁亦都係冇誒 personal guarantee 冇抵押誒誒，即係你 personal guarantee 即係你自己唔使去。保證唔使抵押，咁亦都唔使呢個誒俾嗰個 loan fee 俾 SBA， 即係以往 SBA 個個 fee 咧都係幾高噶嘛。咁你誒誒、呃呃这个、呢個 PPP 係唔使俾呢個嗰個 fee 嚇。誒、啊，咁、嗯、亦都 non-profit 有啲一啲 non-profit 亦都係可以 eligible， 譬如五零一 C 啊嗰啲。誒、嗯、，let me see。咁呢個 program again 就係 application 至到六月三十號啦，咁所以大家咁心急啦。咁如果你係真係話 ，you know， 揾到有 lender 幫你 process 嘅話，就盡快要去填 application 去 start 呢個 process， 因為實在真係太多人去申請，咁啲 lender 係真係誒，即係收到太多。咁而家你要 get in line 咧都唔容易噶，嚇咁啊，好老實講，誒、um,。There's a question. 問如果佢哋用超過七十五個 percent for payroll， 比如佢用曬全部啲錢 for payroll， 誒、uh, ，you know， 如果佢攞攞兩萬蚊 ，and then 使曬 for payroll， 百分之一百係擺 payroll， 佢會唔會 forgive 曬嗰啲錢 ？Supposedly yes. Supposedly yes. 係啦。
，因為佢嘅 minimum 就係你要用七十五 percent， so 誒、um, ，如果佢係用曬嘅話，呀、yeah, ，that that should be hundred percent should be good double， that's correct。呀、yeah, ，所以我都亦都即係同啲客人講，我話 ，you know， 大家亦都要小心咯，因為即係、就是、我覺得大眾嗰個 impression 咧咁心急，亦都當然即係、就是、其中一部分嘅錢係 forgivable 啦。咁 at the same time， 你你亦都要好小心咁樣去用呢筆錢，你亦都要同你嘅 CPA 啊，同你嘅 lender 或者同你嘅 attorney 去商量 ，make sure 你真係明白，即係佢嗰個計數係點樣計法，因為好老實講。你如果 deal with 一個 lender， 如果佢唔係好熟悉呢啲 SBA 嗰啲 rules 嘅話咧，佢有可能計錯都唔定噶。即係我覺得應該會後係有呢啲 mistake 出現嘅。咁啊、嗯，即係大家都要 bear in mind 啊。如果你攞唔到 forgivable， 呢個真係係一個窿嚟嘅。雖然佢係冇 guarantee 冇 collateral，it doesn't mean that 唔會 ruin 咗你嘅 credit， 係咪？咁所以我覺得即係嗯都要考慮到呢一層咯。咁頭先咧，你提到咧係剪頭髮嘅 one man business 啦，咁亦都有有冇第二啲舉例？譬如話誒、嗯、有人咧係佢哋係做 Airbnb， 而佢全部收入咧都係 from Airbnb 嘅 income。咁佢哋本身都有請人嘅，例如做清潔啊或者 maintenance 啊、mm. repairman 啊，咁呢一啲佢哋又可唔可以申請咧 ？So far 咧，即係我就未有客人問過呢個問題，但係咧。如果佢係有 payroll 有有 payroll 嘅話，因為你係要 submit 你嘅 payroll report 噶嘛，咁、mm -hmm. 如果佢係真係一個 business 有 payroll 嘅話，相信佢應該係可以啊、uh, apply 嘅。咁會唔會 approve 咧？當然我唔知啦。咁我哋亦都即係同啲客人講，誒、um, ，即係冇嘢係 prevent 你唔可以去申請嘅。你申請咗佢唔唔批你係另外一回事啦，係咪啊？咁所以我哋亦都同啲客人講，但係咧我知道咧就係、是、，OK， 呢呢個 question 其實都係好多客人問嘅。舉個例子，我誒、呃、有呢啲 investment property，OK，、okay? 咁我擺喺個一個 entity， 例如 LOC 啦，好多客人會擺喺 LOC 入邊 ，limited liability company 入邊啦，係咪？咁我自己做 property manager， 咁呢個當唔當？嗱呢個係 not eligible for SBA， 咁所以誒、嗯、都要明白到 SBA eligible， 你要係。誒、um, 真係一個 small business， 誒、um, 咁另外咧就係、是、唔可以係 non alien， 即係話如果你冇綠卡，你有個 work visa， 你喺呢度開咗個公司，啊、uh, 呢個係唔 eligible for SBA 嘅，嚇、啊、唔符合 SBA 嗰個要求。嗯嗯，咁之前咧都有好多人咧係做 Uber driver， 佢哋可能會收到 Uber 嘅 email 話佢哋可能會 subject to 啊一萬蚊嘅幫忙。咁譬如有某一啲大公司已經係 send 咗呢啲 email 出去俾佢哋嘅員工，話佢哋係可以攞一個 loan up to 一萬。咁當佢哋係有咗呢一樣嘢嘅時候，係咪唔應該再申請 SBA 呢呢一個咧？因為 SBA 佢可以申請嘅，因為咧呢、這個 SBA loan 佢冇話你唔可以去第度再申請嘅 loan 嘅。即係我哋其實亦都有啲客問到，因為其實個 confusion 咧就係、是、啲客人問到哦，之前就話 EIDL 你申請咗，你唔可以再申請 PPP。好多客人都問呢個問題，咁但係其實係咪真嘅咧？呢樣嘢其實我哋都係等緊 SBA 俾個 clarification 俾我哋，但係 so far 我哋睇到嘅資料咧就睇到嘅資料咧就係話你係可以申請兩個 program 嘅，但係問題係你唔可以 double dip 嘅意思，即係話如果你 EIDL 攞咗個筆錢，你係去俾你嘅 payroll，OK，、okay? 你唔可以再去申請 PPP， 亦都係同樣俾翻你嘅 payroll。你去申請 PPP 嗰陣時咧，誒、呃，我相信銀行嗰啲 application 咧，佢會有一個誒、嗯，會有一個 ，you know box 咧係俾你減咗你個 E 申請 EIDO 嗰個 amount 嘅 ，yeah。咁我哋有觀眾高高烏嘅問題係幾時知道呢個 PPP loan 會唔會 be forgiven 咧？即係誒，你有兩年啊嘛，本身嗰個時間係咪？咁係幾時會通知你合唔合資格去 be forgiven？ 即係當你攞咗筆錢之後咧，咁你誒係 within 八個星期，你要用咗呢呢個呢個 seventy five percent towards 你嘅 payroll。咁樣你就要翻翻去個 lender 度，你要 provide 啲 documentation 俾你嘅 lender， 等佢去同你申請嗰個 forgivable 啦。即係要揾翻個 lender 嘅。係啦，唔係話即係俾咗一筆錢你就用完就算數，你仲要翻翻去個 lender 度
show 個 proof 你真係有用到呢筆錢 towards payroll 嚇，佢仲要去同你申請。咁即係八個星期嘅，咁啲人唔可以預先出糧嘅喎，即係話。係啊，所以都好麻煩啦。所以而家個 challenge 咧就係你填咗張表，根本冇人可以答到任何人幾耐先。誒攞到個 approval 或者 decline 啦 ，OK， 即係呢個 application 幾時個 lender 幫你 process， 要嗰個 funding 出幾耐時間，而家根本係冇人答到你呢件事，因為自己本身 internal 嘅 bank 咧都唔知道，因為唔係好似一個誒、嗯、我哋平時做開呢啲呢啲貸款咁樣，我哋知道 exactly 個 process 係點樣啊，去 order appraisal 啦 ，you know take 誒、uh, ，you know 三個星期。根本冇冇呢個 guidance， 亦都未收到咁多 application， 你唯有就係 come as you go， 我哋咁樣 process。咁啊，好老實講，我即係同啲我行內嗰啲誒 lender 講啦，即係我亦都有，即係亦都有好多朋友誒係係做緊 process 緊呢一個誒 PPP 嘅，代表誒。You know Chase Bank 啊，或者誒呢、uh, 個叫做 Live Oak Bank 係做好好多 SBA 嘅。其實根本佢哋誒自己本身咧誒嗰個好 chaotic， 因為點解咧 ？For example， 你係 Chase 個客人，你仲要等等嗰個 banker 去 call 你，咁你填表咯喎，咁你填咗表有可能你係填錯曬嘅，或者你填啲唔填啲咁樣呢啲，其實我哋通常。係好即係點講好 common 嘅嚇啲客人，因為對啲表格你唔係話好好明白，咁啊有時填錯咧，誒、嗯、或者你個 entity 嗰啲資料亦都係填錯啦，咁所以個 banker 佢仲要追你攞你啲文件，哦或者你誒俾嗰啲文件又唔符合佢嘅要求，咁又要 back and forth 咁樣去追你去 follow up 攞文件，咁所以即係、就是、reality 咧就係、是、真係一個都。即係唔係一個 streamline 嘅 process， 啱啱推出嗰陣時，咁大家覺得啊，嗰、那個 documentation 應應該係 streamline 好簡單，唔係跟 SBA 一般嗰個貸款嗰個咁誒嗰個，即係咁咁多 procedure 啊，咁多嘢要跟嘅。但係而家 turns out so far 都唔容易咯，做呢、這個誒、嗯、做呢個 PPP。咁觀眾 Andy 嘅問題係咧，佢已經收到誒、呃、銀行復翻佢話，而家收到。I'm sorry。Hello， 誒啊，阿 Andy 聽唔聽我講嘅嘢？聽到，聽到。OK， 好，唔該你。係咁樣咧，就係、是、誒、呃、已經有人收翻佢哋填咗表話。個已經收到佢哋嘅表格咁啦，已經入咗表格，已經收到啦。但係咧，係咪話佢哋只能夠喺度默默咁樣等待？佢哋知道被將將 application 被收到啦，但係佢哋亦都係唔可以揾走翻去揾人，因為佢冇人揾嘅。係啊,啊，真係而家而家係真係咁樣啊，因為誒、嗯、你如果你已經收到 confirmation 嘅話，唯一嘅可以做嘅就真係喺度等緊你個 lender、你個 banker 再 reach out to 你睇下個 next step 係嘢。嗯，咁即係話，如果今日入表格嘅時候填錯，我聽日發現咗我填錯，想改都係冇辦法，都係好被動咁樣要等個 lender 揾你問你會唔會有嘢想改。係啊，特別如果嗱，如果個 bank 如果佢有個 online application 俾你嘅話咧 ，once 你 submit 咗 application， 佢係出一個 application 嘅 ID number 俾你㗎，所以咧你係我哋即係 suggest 啲客咧，你唔好。誒、呃，即係如果 let's just say 你話哦，我個誒 calculation 計錯咗啊，我唔記得咗計計 so and so 呢個 employee， 我我想入去改翻。你唔好再去填表，因為點解咧？你 once 你填咗變咗，你個 application 已經 duplicate 咗啦。咁佢再 generate 重新一個新嘅 application number 俾你，咁就已經亂咗啦。所以所以咧，你要等個 bank 睇，我要其他 bank 點樣 process 啦。OK， 咁。As far as I know， 你就應該唔好再去 submit 一個 application， 你就等佢 contact 你，你再改嚇、嗯。因為如果唔係嘅話咧，你變咗 generate 咗兩個 application， 咁佢就搞亂曬入邊嗰個 logistic 嗰啲嘢咯。哦，咁如果萬一真係有人入咗兩次咧，就真係唔好彩啦，都冇辦法係咪？即係、就是、我諗，我諗佢有方法咧，就係、是、可以 withdraw 一個 application 嘅。Yeah， 因為你入嘅地方通常都唔同噶嘛。
嗯哼，咁、哦、你就唔好话去一个银行申请，跟住又去另外一个银行申请。嗱，你唔可以咁样做嘅，因为点解咧？啲你要亦都要明白到 ，OK， 银行佢收到你嘅 application， 佢喺度做紧嘢，咁跟住咧，佢会将你啲资料咧系诶诶，佢、嗯呃、会将你嘅 file 去俾佢诶 SBA 呢个叫做 e-tran， 佢要攞个 e-tran number， 即系话 OK，SBA、OK, 已经 approve 咗你啦 ，right？ 咁如果另外一個銀行又去申請，又即係 duplicate 咗，變咗你其實好老實講，你會誒、嗯，你會嗯，你會令到呢、这個你你你誒、呃、打亂咗佢個程序，咁亦都你係唔應該咁樣做，因為如果 SBA just by mistake， let's just say 佢真係 by mistake， OK， approve 咗你兩個 bank 嘅 request。其實你已經，我可以係咁樣講話，你係 lie 我，因為你係個 application， 佢應該係寫到明，你唔可以去兩個唔同嘅銀行去申請同一個 request， 因為呢個係政府嘅嘅窿嚟噶嘛，嚇，咁所以都係有呢、这個誒誒、呃嗯、法律上嘅責任，我哋要要注意。嗯哼，因為有人咧就本身佢以誒佢申請咗，然之後咧。就聽人哋講，以為一定要係自己 company 嘅 business checking account， 即 company， 即公司喺邊度喺邊個銀行開户口啊，去翻嗰度做嘅，即要 match 翻你 business account。咁於是佢申請多一次啦，而家就嚟問我有冇任何一八零零嘅電話或者其他電話號碼，佢可以打電話入去釐清呢一件事。一八零零電話而家。<笑><笑>即係我覺得真係，即係好好好好誒，唔客氣咁樣講，真係 ，you can keep trying， 但係我諗你打都唔會有人聽電話噶啦。<笑>所以而家我哋全民都係主要都係能夠能夠做嘅都係默默等待，係係啊，都係要好 patient 咁樣等。Yeah。咁咧，如果誒、嗯、有人已經有嘅 application number， 比如佢哋知道誒、呃、識阿 Eileen 啊嘛。咁如果好似 call 阿 Eileen 咧，會唔會快啲咧？誒嚟誒嚟俾個 loan 嚟 process 咧，就唔使等排隊排幾個禮拜咧。<笑>我我都希望答係 yes， unfortunately no <笑>。因為因為點解咧？嗯、um, ，因為呢啲 process again， 嗯、um, ，就算你話，即係其實好得意，亦亦都有好多客其實係提出咁嘅要求，即係話啊，點咯？我同你咁熟，你不如你幫我 process 個 application 啦，係咪啊？你應該有 some kind of like you know inside connection。其實係冇冇呢個歌仔唱，因為點解咧？因為 bank 佢而家係 try to 整一個 streamline 嘅 process， 咁我哋每一個 banker 都係要跟誒、呃，即係自己銀行入邊嗰、那個。嗰、那個 procedure 去做嘢嘅，咁所以咧就冇辦法。就算你識我都好咧，嚇我冇辦法將 application 咧係誒，即係誒誒快啲去完成。即係如果 let's just say 我係誒、uh, review 緊你個 file， 當然 ，you know 我可以話啊 ，you know what， 我我 you know 有即係大家識嘅話，咁做嘢就比較方便啲咯，好啲啦，係咪啊？但係如果你你話即係嗯。淨係想 move up 你嘅 application， 呢個就係冇乜可能噶啦。咁另外咧就係、是、嗰個 application 第一頁嗰度咧，佢就有誒、呃、叫你寫低你每一個月出糧俾你啲員工係幾多錢嘅，係唔係？嗯哼。啊，嗰、那個 application。咁樣如果有有 audience 問，如果誒佢係出糧，佢係真係有出糧，每一年都有出唔同嘅 ten nine nine 俾夥計。但係佢冇佢哋要求嘅文件叫做 IRS Form 九四零九四一呢一啲 form， 佢真係每一年都只係，即係佢個個員工都係 ten nine nine basis， 但係佢咁多年做生意都真係有請呢啲員工嘅，唔係而家叫出嚟嘅，可能會係一八年都出個糧俾佢，一九都喺度咁樣，而家二零二零，佢都係想從正路都出翻糧俾佢哋繼續獲得佢哋嘅服務嘅話，咁樣應該點填咧喺嗰張表格上面？ Yeah， 呢個其實都誒，亦、um, 都係好 common 嘅 question。嗱，因為而家四月十號咧，嗰、那個 window 就係 open for sole prop 或者啊、uh, self-employed。咁你如果係 ten ninety nine 嘅話，即係 quote quote supposedly 都係 self 屬於 self-employed 啦。如果你係 contractor 啦，係咪？咁四月十號咧，誒、呃、嗰、那個 application 就開 for 呢一啊、uh, 類型嘅誒、um, 
applicants。咁所以點樣可以申請？你可唔可以申請佢哋 as 員工咧？咁呢樣嘢我冇辦法答到你，但係我諗即係可能最好係個即係出 ten ninety nine 嗰個員工咧自己去申請，可能會比較好啲。嗯，誒、呃、有兩個問題，嗯、一個係問誒係咪最好向某一間銀行遞交申請表？咁排隊嗰陣時可以佔一個位，然後就等 lender 覆翻係咪？係係。Okay, yeah, 因為而家咧，你誒、嗯、即係大家要明白嘅就係、是，你就算可以揾到一間係啊、um, ，let's say 佢 take non-bank customers 嘅話，有嘅而家開始有嘅，咁我相信嚟緊應該嚟緊都會啊多啲啊。Once the lenders, the bank， 佢哋 figure out 點樣去做 ，once they put their team in tap 去做呢個 project， 咁我相信咧啊啲 bank。會即係會多啲 banks 嗰啲 institutions 咧係可以去啊 take non-bank customers。咁誒啲 bank 其實佢誒佢 in the back end 佢 SBA 俾翻佢一個 processing fee 嘅。咁啊，所以我相信亦都有啲 institution 啲 bank 佢會係做呢個 non-bank customers。但係但係而家嗰啲 bank 即係大呢幾個銀行，即係我哋知道嘅咧，就係佢哋個 priority 誒嘅優先權咧。就係俾翻 existing 嘅客人先，因為誒、嗯、即係而家啲兵都係想 take care 翻、uh, take care 翻佢自己嘅客人先。OK， 冇錯。咁、嗯、我哋有觀眾都好唔明白剛才你提到嘅，所以想問多一次就係、是，如果佢税表上面所有嘅物業嘅 income 都係佢自己總共收入嘅來源，佢自己就係 manage 呢一啲物業，咁呢一啲 rental income 嘅 loss 算唔算係一種 loss？ 如果私人名埋，咁如果係 LLC 嘅咧，頭先你提嗰次可唔可以重複一下呢個答案俾呢個觀眾？係啊 ，yeah， 咁誒我頭先講嗰個 example 咧，就係話 ，let's just say 你有啲 investment properties 係用個 LLC 嚟 as holding company， 咁你自己就去 manage 啊、uh, ，as a property manager， 咁就算以往都好啦嚇，咁呢一個係 not eligible for SBA， 即係 as 你去申請嘅 SBA， 你要係符合佢嗰個條件，你先可以去啊申請。咁 as far as we know， 咁呢一類型咧係唔 qualify for SBA 嘅。咁所以咧，我相信呢一個 program 咧應該都係 qualify， 因為個 base line 就係、是、啊、um, 你要 qualify for SBA first， 你要符合 SBA 嗰、那個嗰、那個 criteria。咁所以。我做窿做咗咁多年，咁呢一類型係嘅嘅係唔 qualify for SBA 呀、yeah. ？I hope that answers your question。誒，咁咁講翻將來，如果我哋喺呢度，大家冇其他問題嘅時候，咁講你話將未來好快會推出嘅，咁可能一啲 realtors 或者 independent contractor 出一零九九嘅我哋咧，可能會關心嘅。就係、是、話，我哋會唔會有另外一種樣嘅表格咧？即係直情就四月十號，嚟緊四月十號嘅表格會 open for 即係 realtor、self-employed 呢一班客人。咁呢一個表格係同唔一樣嘅，係同而家呢一份會唔一樣。So far 唔知道 ，yeah，so far 我哋我哋唔知道，但係即係計嗰個 you know commission 嗰啲 you know base on 嗰個誒資料咧，都係當即係都係當係你個嗰、那個誒嗰、um, 個。嗰、那個 payroll， 咁有一啲 realtor 或者 independent contractor， 佢哋四月四號已經填咗表，因為佢哋唔知道四月十號會有另外一個表。咁如果佢哋已經填咗四月四號嗰份，去到四月十號嘅時候，佢哋應唔應該重新填一份，然後去話翻俾銀行聽，之前嗰份我想 cancel 啦，因為我做錯，我係 realtor， 我應該填十號嘅呢一份表咧。嗯我諗如果佢已經係同個 bank 有 communication， 即係話嗰個 banker 已經聯絡咗佢嘅話咧，咁我相信嗰個 banker 會俾個 instruction 俾佢要唔要，即係誒佢可能已經排咗位有一個位置喺度啦，係咪？咁所以我相信咧嗰、那個 banker 會要求個客人誒、呃、重新填翻一張啱嘅表格，咁樣佢就可以 keep 翻 ，maybe 可以 keep 翻嗰個所謂嘅位置咯。Yeah. Okay. 有另一個問題係問誒、呃，需要啲咩文件去填嗰啲誒數字上去㗎？尤其是係嗰啲 independent contractor。誒、um, ，well，OK，、okay. 首先咧就係、是、誒、um, SBA 佢而家要求嘅就係、是、誒、uh, 你一九年如果你未報税嘅話咧
誒、uh, independent contractor， 我唔清楚嚇，因為而家 process 緊都係誒、um, 都係呢個 small businesses， 嗯、um, ，咁就係攞佢一八年個 business 嗰個報税單，跟住一九年如果個 business 已經報咗税，就俾個 business 嗰個報税單；如果未報税咧，就俾一九年嗰個 profit and loss 同埋嗰個 balance sheet， 咁同埋你嘅 payroll 嘅資料啦，嚇，咁同埋譬如誒、um, 你嗰啲誒 ，you know。租 office 嗰啲租啦，要 utility 啦，嗰啲資料啦，要提供俾個 lender。同埋誒 ，make sure 如果你個 business entity 誒、um, ，即係如果銀行未有你嗰、那個誒、uh, business entity 嗰啲 documentation 啦 ，let's just say 誒、um, 嗰個 articles 嗰啲 of 誒、uh, incorporation 啊，誒、uh, 或者你啲 EIN 嗰啲文件啊 ，make sure just get that ready 嚇、啊。如果銀行佢要，因為佢另外一個 process 咧，就係、是、叫做 KYC 嘅。因為有啲客佢好耐前開咗個 account， 咁有可能佢啲資料咧，同銀行啲 system 又可能一個 system 又係咁，另外一個 system 又係咁樣唔 match 嘅。咁所以咧，嗰、那個叫做 KYC 即係話係一個好大嘅 compliance 個 thing 要 follow 嘅，就係、是、know your customer。咁呢啲表格係好重要嘅。咁 so make sure 你啲 business entity 誒呢啲文件咧係 ready 好咯。咁、嗯、另一個問題係誒、呃，我哋有兩種 SBA loan 嘅，一就係經過 EIDL 去申請，咁、嗯、另一個就係呢個 PPP。咁、嗯、如果誒佢哋已經申請咗 EIDL 嘅話，仲可唔可以再申請 PPP 嘅？ Yeah, as far as 我哋知道咧，係可以申請嘅，可以兩個都申請嘅。但係咧，佢就係話你唔，如果你申請咗 EIDL 嘅話咧，嗰一筆錢咧，你唔可以再用嚟係啊誒，即係誒同樣個用途 service 嚇，佢咁樣講。即係 for example， 咧，四你誒攞、uh, 到嘅 EIDL 嗰一部分錢，如果你亦都係去 make payroll， 亦都係去 make 你個 rent office rent 啊，或者 utility。咁你攞到個 PPP， 你唔可以再將嗰筆錢係用同樣嘅嘢上邊。So basically 咧，頭先咧有人想問咧，就係佢哋有個 LLC， 咁咧佢哋誒有啲 tenant 開始唔俾錢啦。咁咧誒嗰個 EIDL 係另外一個 grant， 同埋有嗰個 PPP 啦。咁你就頭先話 PPP 可能唔可以 apply for 嗰啲 rental property， 但、嗯、你嗰、那個另外嗰個 SBA 叫做 EIDL 有個 grant。差唔多算係 forgive， 有可能會 forgiven up to 一萬蚊啦。咁、mm-hmm. 嗰個窿咧應該都可以 pay for 個你嗰啲 mortgage 同埋利息嗰啲同埋 utilities 啦，係咪 ？Um, as far as 如果你 follow 嗰個 SBA 嘅 eligibility 嘅話咧，就係、是、唔 qualify rental properties 係唔 qualify 嘅。咁除非嗱 ，for example， 咁有啲客人佢個 business 佢自己買咗個 commercial property。Right? 你有可能唔係用 SBA 去買個 property 去 finance, right? 咁你有可能係一個我哋叫做 conventional loan. 咁、okay? 你如果係你自己個 business 用嘅話咧 ，minimum 五十一個 percent 係你自己嘅 business 用呢個 property， 咁就係叫做 owner occupy, right? Owner occupy 嘅話咧，咁如果你有個 conventional loan， 咁嗰個 mortgage interest 係 cover 嘅喎，但係 not rental property。咁當然。Okay, let's just say 你係 small business owner， 你買個 property， 你嗰個 commercial property 你自己生意上用，咁你好多時我哋啲客都係咁樣做法咧，就係將嗰個 property 係擺咗入去個 LOC 度，咁個 LOC 咧就租翻俾你個 business， 咁樣唔叫做誒、uh, rental property， 咁樣係誒、um, owner user 個 property， 咁樣 qualify 嘅。Does that make sense? Not investment property， 呀，即係我哋最緊要要分清楚嘅就係 investment property 係唔可以 qualify for SBA 嘅。Investment property 係唔可以 qualify 成為 SBA。係啦，因為你睇下佢嘅名叫做 Small Business Administration。嗯哼。呀。咁因為係 small business 啦，咁咧如果頭先提到誒、呃，譬如 realtor 或者其他 ten nine nine contractor 或者其他行業嘅人，我唔識得咁多啦，但係。好多人咧係以 home office 嘅形式嘅，咁咁個 home office 嗰度，譬如啲 utility 又算唔算係 
可以 forgivable 嘅咧？應該都算啦，因為你 as long as 你 tax 上面你報税要你嘅 utilities， for example， 你都係用誒、uh, ，you know 電話都係你個 primary 嗰、那個 right？ 你你你誒、uh, 平時工作要用噶嘛？或者譬如你 maybe 你部車你報税都係攞嚟 deduct for 你個 business。原來我相信嗰一部分嘅 expense 咧，應該都係可以 qualify 嘅。哦，我即係車嗰個都算係 commute， 都係 forgivable 嘅。當然 ，at the same time， 即係我亦都同啲客講，你要再去做下 research， 因為佢會唔會改呢啲嘢咧？而家時唔知喎，嚇，因為佢而家個 communication 同。啲 lender 或者個對個 public 佢就係咁樣講，到時佢會唔會再改？我哋都唔知。For example， 我都話啦，你而家上去好多 website 睇，佢有可能仲 show 緊嗰個 interest rate， 即係兩年嗰個 interest rate 咧 ，for 呢一個 for 呢一個 loan 咧係五誒零點五 percent 嘅，但係佢已經改咗啦，係係係一個 percent 啦而家。所以 that's why 如果佢係 continue to make changes 嘅話咧，咁大家都要留意咯。咁咧，你建唔建議咧啲人咧 ？Even though 你話啲 rental property 唔 qualify， 咁頭先好似 Victoria 講咧，有啲人真係 Airbnb 就係佢嘅生意，或者嗰啲 real estate 就係佢嘅生意，所以佢先有個 LC。有唔同嘅人講個嘢係唔同咯，所以佢哋應唔應該 apply 咗先 ？And then yeah， that's why 我哋都話啦，我哋即係 as lenders， 我哋唔會 discourage 客人去 apply 嘅。因為因為呢一個 program 咁新咧，即、就、係、是、我哋自己本身我哋都唔知道 SBA 會點樣去睇去 set 呢啲 rules， 咁所以即係、就是、我個 advice 俾客人都係你可以去申請咗先 ，you know 睇下佢會睇下佢點樣去處理點樣去 treat 你呢個 request， right？ 咁、嗯、如果佢話批你 great， right？ 因為 SBA 批咗 is a rubber stamp， 即係 is a stamp official stamp， 係咪啊？咁如果佢唔批你 ，at least you try， you know。所以你你就建議啲人 try apply 咗 ，and then 睇下嗰個 SBA approve 或者唔 approve。尤其是嗰啲關於你啲 LLC 啲 rental property， 同埋如果你係做 Airbnb， 係咪？ Well， 誒，如果係 rental property， 我就知道 for sure 係 not eligible for SBA 嘅。但係頭先阿 Victoria 講嘅就係你 Airbnb 而你係有 payroll 嘅，你真係。有 create 有啲 jobs 噶嘛 ，right？ 你你個 Airbnb 你真係有請人幫你去去打你去做 cleaning， 咁你真係 create jobs， 就、so, 有可能我覺得 SBA 應該有可能會係 approve。但如如果你 just straight rental property held in LOC， then unfortunately as far as I know， 啊、uh, 以往 SBA 係唔會 approve for SBA loan 嘅。嗯哼，嗯哼，咁啱啱有一個幾。有趣嘅問題係，誒、um, ，我哋呢一有觀眾咧，佢嘅客人咧，而家咧係買緊一個房屋，咁佢買緊個房屋咧，而家係做緊貸款嘅期間嚟嘅，咁同時咧，佢亦都呢、這個客人咧覺得自己都能夠 qualify E I D L， 於是佢係喺度申請緊 E I D L， 咁佢而家買屋嗰度係貸款緊噶嘛？請問有冇衝突嘅咧？誒、um, ，睇下佢申請幾多啦，因為如果你話我就唔熟悉。誒、uh, ，即係做嗰個房屋貸款嗰個 guideline， 但係 as a lender， 咁我哋 let's just say 我而家係幫你做緊一個 commercial loan 咁樣，你去申請嘅話，你一日未批咧，我哋都唔可以計你嗰、那個誒嗰、uh, 個 loan 咁樣，因為你都未批，係咪？但係如果你已經申請咗 approve 咗 ，right， 咁樣我哋就要計埋你嗰、那個誒嗰、uh, 個 debt， 即係嗰個貸款月還款，係啦，嗰、那個 yeah。哦，嗯，咁可唔可以 apply EIDL？ 嗯，通過 SBA 嘅 website 一定係通過自己 work with 緊嘅銀行咧。哦、oh, ，EIDL 一定要去 SBA 嘅 website， 唔可以去自己嘅銀行嘅。自己嘅銀行淨係可以 process 嗰、那個啊、uh, PPP。淨係可以 process 呢個 PPP。係啦，好簡單，你淨係去 Google。誒、uh, Google 你可以 Google EID 啊，或者你直接去 SBA.gov 啊、uh -huh. 就可以睇到誒、uh, 我哋所有講而家呢啲資料噶啦。嗯嗯嗯嗯。咁、嗯嗯、我睇下其他觀眾有問題，可以再喺我哋嘅 chat room 嗰度寫低。咁誒、uh, 或者順帶提問一問你，唔知道誒、um, 對於呢一個 emergency check 呢一個 program 同 SBA 有冇關係咧？好似聽講話呢一個 per adult 係千二蚊。
，小朋友係六百蚊呢一個。我應該係冇嘅，唔會有衝突。呢、这個係完全冇關係，亦都唔會有衝突。O K， 啊哈，啊哈，嗯、um, ，Did I miss anyone？ 我唔知道我有冇睇漏你哋嘅問題嚇。如果我係還未有解答到你哋嘅問題咧，我會建議你哋喺呢一個 Zoom chat、Group chat 呢個位置咧，誒、uh,。以中文或者英文都可以打出你哋嘅問題咧，我哋而家可以喺度咧都問埋啊 ，Eileen。OK， 啱啱睇到 Janice 嘅問題就係、是、誒、uh, 最好係用 direct deposit 啦，因為你即係好老實講 ，direct deposit 會係最快嘅方法攞到嗰筆錢咯。咁亦都有人問咧，如果呢一間 LLC hire 咗個 property manager， 咁係有咩、啊、問題越嚟越 tricky？ <笑>佢<笑>哋可能全部都係一啲自身嘅問題，所以喺網<笑>網上好難揾到答案，所以睇下。係啊，呢、這個其實嗱，呢一個呢一個問題咧，我真係冇辦法俾到個答案俾你喎。但係如果你係 base on 誒、um, ，即係 SBA 嘅 eligibility 嘅話咧，係唔 qualify 嘅喎。係唔 qualify 嘅 ，OK，SBA 嚟講係唔 qualify。係啦，即係佢個你啱啱有個問題喎。係啦，即係 Seven A 或者 Five O Four 嗰個 program 係唔 qualify。咁呢一個會唔會 qualify？ 真係都唔用。OK， 我如果你有 question 咧，你喺你個誒 chat room 嚟寫低啊，我哋可以答你啲 question。咁咧，呢個 Alice 有個問題咧，就係話嗯。我哋你你會唔會喺四月十號或者十一號、十二號呢段時間裏邊咧？我哋再會有一個針對式去解釋嗰個 new application 嘅咧，即係譬如爭住張 application 咁樣，似住喺呢度點填，呢度點填咁樣咧。即係我我唔介意，我唔介意。如果啊 Janice 同 Victoria， 如果你哋想 post 多一個，因為 Like I said， 嚟緊可能會有新啲資料，或者有好多新嘅問題，咁或者我哋會 ，you know， 都有啲 changes， 或者可以 update 到大家。So you know， yes， 我哋可以做多一個。But 誒，四月十號，如果你按四月十號咧，我諗可能個資料就唔係咁多啦，因為有可能要等到一個星期啊，真係等到即係啲 bank 真係開始 process 啦。咁同埋我哋睇下。You know， 聽到收到咩風啊，咁樣可以再 update 翻大家咁樣咯。Yeah。OK， 咁啊。Um, Andy，OK，Let、okay, me see、um,。係、okay, 啦 ，Andy 嗰個問題咧，我唔係好瞭解佢。How about S Corp and pay myself and well Andy， 你嗰個 S Corp 如果你係真係一個 business 嘅話，係可以 qualify 咯。係咯，如果你真係一個 business 嘅話，咁應該冇問題啦。如果你有 W two 嗰啲，係 for sure 嘅，係咪？ Yeah， 係。如果你真係有，你嗰個 S Corp 咧 ，Andy， 如果你有 S Corp， 你有 W two 咧，你可以做嗰個 PPP。It's like 你個 payroll 幾多乘二點五咯 ，right？ 嗯哼，啊哈啊哈 ，OK。咁跟住 Cathy 就係 How do you correct the application if there's a mistake？ 啊、um, ，Again， going back to your bank， 啊、um, ，make sure 你 ，you know， communicate with your bank。咁我哋即係 base on 我哋。啊，睇到就係話唔好再去重新去 submit 一個 application unless 嗰個 bank 係有一個地方俾你係去 withdraw 你之前嗰個 application， 或者 once the banker 啊、um, ，you know process 你個 application 嗰陣時，你可以同佢講，咁你再重新填翻個表格 ，and then 再 submit manually 咁樣 submit 個 application 俾你嘅 banker， yeah。嗯，咁啊 ，Kathy 話如果 PPP 嘅窿結果批咗出嚟，但係之前咧已經叻高咗一啲 employees， 想請翻啲 employees 嘅時候，或者佢哋唔再做啦，咁佢唯有請一啲新嘅人，咁樣係合唔合理嘅咧？亦會唔會被 forgiven 嘅咧？即係可唔可以都豁免咧？雖然即係我唔同咗嘅咯喎，我 payroll name and amount 會唔會唔同咗嘅咯喎？咁算唔算咧？誒、um, ，我諗。我諗如果佢請翻一啲新嘅 employees， 而嗰個 payroll 都係一樣嘅話咧，係我相信佢係可以嘅。But again, this is going to be a question that I will have to go back and ask, see if SBA would have the answer for us or not. So sorry 啊，頭先 Andy 個 question 咧，我再答多講多次。佢話如果嗰、那個嗯、um, company 係 S Corp hold 住個 real estate property。Um, 嗰啲可唔可以 apply？ 如果你 S Corp hold 住嗰個 property， 
，你要睇下係你自己個 business 間公司用嘅，定係你係完全係出租嘅物業。There's a difference。嗯，如果係出租嘅話 ，according to existing SBA guideline 係唔 qualify。啊，觀眾 Evan 嘅問題係佢有個 S group， 只係有一個 employee， 個 employee 就同個 owner 係一樣嘅，同一人嚟嘅，咁會唔會啊係係有資格申請咧？嗰、那個應該就係 so prop 咯。但係佢係用 S group 嚟到。哦 ，S group， 呀、yeah, ，如果佢有出 W two 俾自己嘅話，佢而家個 window 佢可以去申請噶啦。O.K. 而家就去而去申請，唔係四月十號嗰份啦。咁係啦，因為佢真係有個 corporation 有出 payroll 俾自己，佢係有一個 payroll report 可以啊、um, generate 俾個 bank 噶嘛。O.K. O.K. 啊 ，Let me see and then Kathy 啊。哦，有一個咧 from Ocean， 佢話我哋 miss 咗佢個 question。佢個 question is um if part of the loan funds can be used to pay utilities。Does the applicant include average utilities expense in the average monthly payroll amount? Um, see the amount. For you, go go. Okay, the way they calculate is like the amount is by the payroll, not by the utility. The amount that's the guideline we're given. Is your payroll the average? Subtract two point five. It's not that you can subtract the utility and the interest or the rent into the calculation. 但係你嗰筆錢係可以用嚟 for 嗰個 utility， 即係去 pay 嗰個 utility。咁唔講人哋銀行先啦，譬如 Bank of the West， 咁佢哋咧嗰張表格填完咧，唔係直接話 email 俾一個佢識得嘅人啦，係有一個固定嘅 SBA email address 俾佢哋 send 嘅，啱唔啱啊？哦，唔係，我哋嘅 form 係 online 嘅，係誒，係係啦，係 Bank of the West online， 我哋有個 application 嘅。哦，咁佢一填完咧就自己過咗去噶啦個 application。Once 填咗個 application， 會 generate 一個誒 application ID number 嚇。咁跟住咧，我哋個 bank 就會誒有個 portal 俾個客人咧，係我哋會 send 一個 portal 俾個客人去係去 upload 嗰啲 documents 嘅。嗯哼。咁 OK， 咁之後咧就誒有 sole proprietorship 嘅問。如果 no payroll no employee what should they do？ 即係佢哋點做啊？咁樣，咁佢係咪應該叫佢等四月十號嗰個 new release form 咧、mm -hmm. ？Yes。OK， 個 sole proprietorship 冇 employee 嘅應該等四月十號啦。係。咁係一個問題係都係 Andy 問嘅，佢係 real property LLC now immediately elect to be S group and pay owner immediately payroll as employee. Would you think？ It works around the SBA eligibility. No, because you have a pay, because you have a property. You have tenants, right? But the revenue, the income, is generated from the building as an investor property. You are not offering a, um, say, how to say, you have no operating business. So, so, just make it very simple. If you are an investment property, it doesn't qualify. It doesn't matter how you hold title. Because you know, I mean, it's very common. Because a lot of people, they will buy an investment property. They will use an entity to hold it as a holding company. It doesn't matter how you hold title. You're, it, it is still an investor property, not an owner user property that's eligible for SBA. Yeah. Okay. So um, I think questions. there's still more questions, but mm -hmm. I think the 3 p.m. session is starting um, in English. So I. I think Eileen is willing to stay after after four o'clock for a little bit, maybe to answer any additional questions. Um, so this time, the three o'clock session is over. So now we can start speaking English. So if you have any questions you haven't answered, we will be back at four o'clock. So if you want to ask questions, we can answer them. Or even if you use English to answer. 我哋三點鐘至四點鐘會用英文講咯。如果你需要中文咧，如果你需要，如果你需要中文咧，你就誒 ，you know maybe 四點鐘之後咧先再答你。翻翻嚟咧再講，再答你用中文啦。OK。OK， 咁你問題可以繼續問用英文嘅，但係我哋而家會開始英文嗰個 version 咁樣。咁誒，我希望我哋後邊嘅 tag 係咪已經見到有新嘅？
係咪有新嘅人想 audience 入嚟啦 ？Eileen， can you um start maybe to tell people about the uh programs in English for the new attendees? Okay. Yes, of um, course. So as if it's a brand new um sure. workshop. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Absolutely. So everybody, um, again, I want to make a disclaimer before we start. Um, even though I work for Bank of the West, but this is really on a voluntary basis. Um, you know, I'm here to really just, you know, share information that I know um, collectively, either from, you know, what I have read um, and also from, you know, people that I talk to in the industry, including, you know, um, SBA lenders. So I just want to make sure that if you do have questions, um, I still advise that you go back to your lender to your CPA or your attorney. And as this program is still evol you know, evolving, we're still getting a lot of new information, including a lot of questions that even as lenders, as banks, we aren't able to answer. So we're really here just to you know, make it an informational session for everybody. And hopefully with what, you know, what, what I know, I can help you know, clarify some of the confusions that are out there. Um, frustration if you really call it because it's been very stressful for everyone um this program is really supposedly designed to help you know um to help our you know small businesses or or the, the livelihood of, of our economy but as it turns out it really hasn't been working that well um, so i just want to you know acknowledge you know that we're doing our best as lenders and you know and we do appreciate your patience and so hopefully you know we can provide some type of guidance and have some unified you know information for everyone okay so um to begin with i think a lot of the you know the talks have been around sba's um eidl what is you know what is called the economic injury injuries disaster loan um, and then there's also the payroll protection plan, uh, program, which is part, part of the CARES Act. A lot of questions have come up, a lot of um, just misinformation as well. What we have seen, a lot of changes as what we've seen, witnessed in just the last um, few weeks that we have, um, we have been dealt with. So I wanna just clarify you know, what is EIDL and what is the difference between EIDL versus um, the PPP as everyone, you know, refers to. The EIDL, you have to apply through SBA's um, website. This is directly with SBA. Now, this is a loan program for small businesses with 500 employees or less, um, some nonprofits, and also um, there's a different rule for you know hospitality so if you own a restaurant and if you have you know 500 employees per location you're still eligible so you got to make sure you refer to the guide for um, hospitality but mainly this is for small businesses with 500 employees or less um, so prep contractors um, self-employed um, and some you know, I, I don't think we deal with any tribal businesses here. Um, let me see. Yeah, independent contractors. So what the EIDL, when you apply, and I think most the folks probably, if you have heard about it, I'm pretty sure you have probably jumped on SBA's website and already submitted your application. If you haven't, of course, you know, this is the time to do it because there is a cap on funding. Um, whether or not you're going to get approved, when is going to get approved, um, that nobody knows. But, you know, there is a 10 grand, which is supposedly a grand. You don't have to pay back if you do get it. Um, other than that, it becomes a loan and is amortized over 30 years. And the interest rate is fixed for 3.75. Now we don't know the term of the loan because as you know, amortization is different than the term of the loan. And so I believe SBA will decide once they approve your quote, quote loan, um, they're gonna decide on the term. So, you know, most SBA business loans, as we know, their maximum loans of 10 years, amortize over 10 years. So with, with the EIDL loan, um, is 
amortize over 30 years, meaning your payment is calculated, you know, using 30 year time. So what this program is, is designed for is to, the loan proceeds are used to cover your payroll expenses, right? Um, some of your mortgage interest, if you own your commercial property, um, your rent for the business, utility, um, and is supposedly for eight weeks. And the payroll, it caps that any employees that are that have salary a hundred thousand or more. So it doesn't mean you don't count them. You still can, but you can only count up to a hundred thousand. So for example, if you your you know your employee, you pay this person one hundred fifty thousand, you have to subtract the fifty thousand um, from your average payroll. So the payroll you take February two thousand nineteen through. February of this year, 2020, 12 months, and your average multiplied by 2.5. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm talking about the PPP. I'm confusing myself. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay, so for the EIDL, the maximum loan amount, mm -hmm. the, the 10 grand is forgivable. And anything other than that is a two, is a, a 10, uh, up up to 2 million maximum loan amount, okay, amortize over 30 years at 3.75, okay? So that's for EIDL, you apply directly through SBA's website. And your payments are deferred for six months. Now, the PPPP is what everybody is talking about within the last week. So PPPP stands for payroll protection program, and you have to apply through, um, preferably, a, you know, prefer SBA lender, your own bank, and you don't go through SBA's website to apply for the PPPP. So I want to make sure everybody understands that. Um, as of right now, a lot of the banks may not even be accepting applications for the PPPP. Banks simply don't have the infrastructure to deal with this um, and even for big banks you know we're still you know putting this program together and you know so that's why we're asking you know um, everyone to be patient so for the PPPP this is a loan program where part of it might be forgivable and you also use the proceeds for um, you know same thing for payroll your rent utilities, um, so part of the payroll, it includes actually uh, retirement contributions, your employees' health insurance premium, um, sick leaves, uh, let me see what else, cover leaves, and okay, so that's part of your payroll. Now, in terms of other, other um, uses for the loan, you can use it to pay your office rent, your utilities, and um, other business debt interest, not to pay off your consumer debt. So I want to make it very clear. This is not to pay off your consumer debt because I have had clients who said, hey, I you know, use my personal credit card for my business. Can I pay off my you know, interest with this loan? Um, unfortunately, no. Um, I mean, if you want to take the risk of getting audited, then I would say, you know, maybe you can take a chance, but really you're not supposed to commingle funds. So, okay, so that's that. Now, again, so for me, um, it's average payroll times 2.5. That would be the amount you would qualify to apply for the PPP. And now that's the forgivable, forgivable portion. If you apply 75% of these funds towards your payroll within supposedly um, eight weeks um, towards your payroll, meaning you have to use minimum 75% of these funds to pay for your payroll. And if you know, you don't do that, then this simply becomes a loan, is non-forgivable, is two years at 1% interest rate. And it also has a six month deferment. Uh, let's see, what else? 
And there's no personal guarantee, no collateral, and there's also no fee to the applicant. So basically the banks will get a processing fee compensated by SBA um, on doing, you know, um, you know, offering these loans. Let me see, what else? And application ends on June 30th. So, you know, that's why everyone is really anxious to apply or trying to find a bank that will accept their application because the funds are capped at um, 349 billion. So first come first served. And once the funds run out, we don't know if we're gonna be able to get more funds for this particular program as we, heard um we might be getting another 250 billion but nobody knows if that's that's going to pass or not but um that is the latest what we heard um let me see did i miss anything janice victoria i want to make sure i touch all of the important points um I think you can talk about the PPP, uh, how there's 75% is for payroll, and then what's the other 25% that might be forgiven? Um, actually, the other 20, so the other, um, so the proceeds, you can also apply towards your um, office rent or your lease, um, interest on business debt, not consumer debt, or your, so for example, um, also if let's say you have, um, an owner user commercial property for your business where you incur mortgage interest, you can also use the loan proceeds for the interest portion, not for the principal, but for the interest. I think a very important question that a lot of people wanna know is, especially for sole proprietors, including realtors and Uber drivers or people of you know that are sole proprietors, how would they, um, consider their payroll costs uh, for, for the PPP? So what I've been reading is that commissions do count toward, it is eligible um, as payroll. So, you know, exactly the calculation, I can't even tell you because I did ask, um, I did ask that question and we have escalated that question to SBA, but I haven't heard back exactly, you know, how SBA will treat commission but th from the materials that I have been reading, which is also on the um, US Treasury website on the fact sheet, that commission does, it is eligible as payroll. So, I mean, if we were to, you know, talk about sole prob, yes, then, I mean, you take 12 months average, then that is your monthly. Is there well, a you, have, you are capped at 100,000 though, so don't forget, I think a lot of times, even including myself, I forget that there's a cap for a hundred thousand. So meaning, let's say hundred thousand divided by by twelve. What is it like eight thousand some? Eight thousand three hundred thirty three dollars. Yes. Mm -hmm. And multiply by two point five. That would be the amount. So I think a question that I think we asked earlier in Chinese was, um, if a independent contractor like a realtor um, pays their staff. 1099, can they also include that as part of payroll when people um, have payroll, but everything's done by Right, yeah, so I think that was one of the questions that were being asked in the um, session earlier, is that if it's 1099 technically, you know, they're not employees, but they're contractors. So it's categorized as um, self-employed. So I think the application, the, the correct application should be um, the one that's coming on, on April 10th. Well, I guess the question, sorry, let me be clear. So let's say um, there's a realtor that makes 100,000 mm -hmm. and they hire um, people and they, they pay them, I don't know, $60,000 a year, mm -hmm. 1099. Mm -hmm. um, will the income being used to calculate for the PPP be based on 160,000 uh, because you're technically have well, payroll? It depends. Yeah, so it depends on how you're putting in the application. If you're putting in the application strictly just for yourself and then the, the staff also submits, you know, submit an, a separate application for 
you know, him or herself, then you don't include that, right? Because as of right now, what, you know, what we are kind of, our, our understanding is that, you know, whether or not this person, if you're issuing a 1099, does it count as your payroll? Because when you submit your payroll information, will the lender accept that? As of right now, I don't know if 1099 will count towards your payroll, which I understand is not. Yeah, they have to apply separately. All right. Uh, em Emma is asking, is fund running out now? Because you heard that um, some of the banks has, have stopped the application due to the cap out, cap it out. Does that well, mean each lender has assigned a fund amount to them? Well, let's put it this way. On, you know, B of A was, um, you know, the, the, I would say probably the first lender, the, well, one of the, Big, you know, I mean, one of the big banks that actually um, launched their online application last Friday. And as of Monday, they already received about 10% of the total funding, which is 32 billion applications worth of applications. So nobody knows. I mean, it, because you're talking about, you know, various lenders, and I don't think anyone is really um, taking. I guess taking like total number of applications that have been um, submitted, you know, um, to all the different banks, no one is really, um, I don't think anyone has um, data like that. Okay. I mean, so for one particular bank maybe, but not for all of the banks that have collected um, wow. applications. Yeah. So okay. James Maxwell has a question. I think you answered some of it. What can EIDL be used for versus the PPP? And can you use the EIDL for any business expenses? That's similar to the question that Ruby's asking, can these funds, can a realtor use these funds for marketing? So because the non-forgivable portion, it is a loan. So, um, you know, I believe, yes, you can use it for marketing because it is a small business loan. Um, and, you know, I mean, my suggestion is that, hey, you know what, it's like, that is part of your expense you can you know put it in and see what sba how sba is going to look at it well i guess more importantly i guess probably what ruby and james wants to know is if they use this for marketing can they get that those funds forgiven as far as i know no So Eric has a question. Do you know when banks will be offering the PPP loans to real estate agents? Right now, many banks are only offering to larger companies under 500 employees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of the banks, you know, they're still putting this program together. And unfortunately, a lot of the banks um, just just don't even have the infrastructure to, to you know, really to, to put this uh, program in place because it involves a lot of manpower. It really involves, you know, a lot of the logistics, right? In terms of, you know, how do they, how do they do funding? Do they, you know, because in order for them to get the funding, you know, does this bank, you know, in, do they even have enough to, you know, make these loans because they need to basically sell these loans back to SBA and then get more funding for, to replenish what, you know, the banks deposit. So that's why, you know, what we know for now is that we have a number of banks that are ready to take application and a lot of these um, full, full SBA lenders aren't ready yet, especially some of the smaller lenders, smaller banks. But there are um, SBA correspond, you know, corresponding companies that are processing on behalf of banks and you know, what I do know is that they are still processing for existing customers, while I have heard today that there are a few banks that are processing for non-bank customers. Okay. Um, Tina would like to know which loan should the realtor apply first, and what would be considered a payroll cost for realtor under the PPP program? So there is no language in these two programs saying that which one you should apply. So again, for the EIDL, you do get, if you do get approved, you get 10,000 forgiven, which is a grant. And after that, then it becomes a loan, which is, you know, amortized over 30 years. 
And so you can apply for PPP, but it's just that you cannot use the proceeds um, towards the same purpose. Okay. Okay. So Loli's question is, if my bank is not accepting applications and I don't bank anywhere else, where can I apply? Can we apply directly at the SBA website? Not for PPP. Uh, for EIDL, yes, not for PPP. PPP, you have to find, unfortunately, you have to do some homework and you just have to keep checking um, to find a bank that will accept non-bank customers. And it's, it is very frustrating. Um, yeah. This, you know, ever since this has launched, just a lot of confusion, a lot of um, misinformation out there and just creates a lot of chaos uh, for both the banks and also, um, you know, to the public. I think EIDL is probably the fastest loan. I'm sorry. Uh, EIDL, the, is it the fastest loan? I wouldn't say it's the fastest because SBA is processing the EIDL and really their capacity, I think they're, they really have maxed out their capacity because EIDL's application has, you know, it has been made available a while, like a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, when they first, you know, um, you know, have the application ready, it says turnaround time for the 10,000 mm -hmm. advance. Three days. Advance, you know, loan or, or grant, three day turnaround. But I, you know, when I talked to a lot of my clients who did apply, they said their application is pending. So far, I haven't heard um, anyone who has gotten approved. I would love to hear that. So if you, you know, anyone who has gotten the approval, I would love to hear from you because I would love to hear from you, you know, what has been the experience, what kind of, you know, process. Because, you know, we were told that SBA on an annual basis, they're only able to process maybe like, you know, 50 to 60,000 applications, right? And right now they have gotten who knows how many, I, I don't know. I mean, we're talking about the whole entire US. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat the time frame for calculating the income again, please? Uh, I'm sorry, say that one, repeat one more time. Uh, the time frame for calculating the income? Was it oh, from yeah. February 1st? It's, it's February 2019 through February of this year. It's February 1st, right? Uh, let me see. It's February 15th. 15th. Okay. Through, Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. uh, Tom has a question saying, should he apply at more than one bank at the same time? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. Um, if you apply through more than one bank, because the banks, once they process your application, they have to take your file, submit it through SBA. They have to go through the system called eTrend and to get this number, which is an approval, right? And let's say these two banks don't communicate and then there's a glitch and SBA gives you to eTrend number and you get approved on both end. Um, I, I think that's gonna be an issue because you're not supposed to. Yeah, cause you're gonna end up, cause you can only have one loan. Now you will, you will have two loans. So um, I think you really should, or maybe think about withdrawing one application. Um, here's a very interesting question from Kathy. What happens if you open your business at the beginning of 2020? Can we still apply? Wasn't there a deadline that you were supposed to have started that business prior to a certain date? Yeah, I believe so. I believe the business also has to be, um, I, I think February 15th is still the dead, I mean, you know, the, the, the deadline, the date that you need to have your business. So you have to have the business prior to February 15th in order for you to apply yeah. if you have a new business. Yeah. We did, we did say that this application ends um, on June 30th, right? I just want to make sure everybody knows that there, there's a cap to, 
um, to this program in terms of the loan, and then also there's a deadline that you can apply, and it's first come first served. So, so we have a lot of um, new people who are on here for the English version. Can you talk about how um, uh, folks who get this loan, how they can apply to get the uh, uh, the money they spent forgiven, and when that happens, and what do you what you may have to do? Sure. So again, um, we talked about how to calculate the amount. So it's two, your average two months, uh, I'm sorry, your average month, monthly payroll times 2.5 and 75% of that, um, in order to be forgivable, you know, forgivable, you have to apply 75% of that towards your payroll and you need to, act, supposedly after um, eight, eight weeks, you need to show documentation to your lender your prospective lender um, to, you know, as proof that you have, you know, applied the proceeds towards the payroll in order to, to be forgivable. And anything that's not non-forgivable, it, it automatically becomes a two-year loan for you at 1% interest rate. Um, I think everyone's asking about this re relating to investment properties. Some people have properties in LLCs and some people have properties as, you know, individual names. And does that qualify for EIDL or uh, PPP? Um, and if they have an LLC and their own business, uh, can they apply for two separate EIDLs? So I do want to clarify that SBA, um, I want to point everybody back to SBA. So SBA is it stands for Small Business Administration. So if you have investment properties and you simply just, you know, let's say have a holding company, a LOC or S Corp, whatever you use, business entity, as a holding company for your investment property, it does not qualify you for SBA loans. Now that is the eligibility for the regular SBA 7A and 504 loans, okay? And I believe is the same for these two particular programs. Now, in the earlier session, somebody mentioned that, okay, um, let's say I have Airbnb, I have um, staff I hire to, you know, clean, to do cleaning, right? Um, does that qualify? I don't know the answer to that. Um, that is going to be a question I will, you know, bring back and, and ask and see if we can find out. But as far as I know, if you hold investment properties, doesn't matter if it's single family, duplex, triplex, or commercial properties in a LOC or any business entity where you're collecting rent, which is the primary income for your property, it does not qualify for SBA. However, let's say if your business owns a building and your business occupies minimum 51% of the total square footage and your property is held in the LOC. So basically your LOC is, you know, leasing the, the property to your business. This is considered an owner user property for your business because the occupancy is 51%. So the magic number is 51% to, to qualify as an owner user property. So in this case, the mortgage interest will qualify for the, you know, um, to, to be covered under this loan program. So what some people have done to answer some of your questions is they apply and, um, you know, it might just get denied, but mm -hmm. if you're concerned that it, you know, the rules might change, mm -hmm. you just apply, but based on what Eileen's saying, it doesn't seem like it could qualify. Um, you could just try and, and see what happens. Right. Okay. Yeah, again, you know, we're, you know, this is just based on my knowledge. And so again, you know, we're not discouraging you to apply but you know this is just based on what i know you know based on my past experience doing um doing sba loans and and these loans are you know new loans so a lot of things keep changing so to be safe you guys um if you have different llc's and a different ein 
you can go ahead and apply for the EIDL um, and, and, and just see what happens. Uh, that was Jade's question. Here's another question from Hugh Liu is, what about if we do not issue payroll? I think she's a sole proprietor and we do not have a business bank and we only use Schedule C. Do we qualify to apply for the SBA programs? Uh, yes, you still qualify, even though you don't have a business account, as long as you find a bank that will accept your application. Um, you know, some of the banks, you need to have a business account with them in order to be eligible as a bank customer. Um, but some banks, they'll take non-bank customers. So, you know, you just have to find one that will accept non-bank customers. I think Eric from U.S. Bank has said that uh, U.S. Bank might be taking non-bank customers mm -hmm. soon. Yeah. Um, uh, another question was, uh, Joyce Sun is asking, can you apply for EDD and PPP at the same time? As far as I know, there is no conflict. And is there any way to track their application for the EIDL loan? Yeah, I, you know, it's very, very tough to get update status from SBA as of right now. And then, um, and even for PPP, it's very, very hard to, you know, to put a timeline <clears throat> on when your application will be processed, when you'll be able to get the approval, when funding will go out. This is uncharted territory. So, yeah, there's no answers to that. And, you know, banks, as of right now, we're just, you know, everyone trying to process these and trying to work as hard as, you know, we can. Some of my lender friends are working 14 hours, literally reviewing these files, reviewing documentation, making sure, you know, um, the information that you provided is correct. So everyone is working frantically within the banks. Um, so it's very, you know, I, I just, as a lender, I, as a banker, and I just, I, I understand everyone is anxious, but I also want everyone to know that this is a very new program. And even though you may not be able to hear, you know, uh, hear from your banker, is really not their fault. Because when you try to call customer service, they may not even pick up. Or when you go to the branch, your retail banker may not even have the answers to you, for you, because they don't know. Um, and we're still, you know, things are still changing and we may even get more information or, or more changes um, in the coming weeks, who knows, because, you know, um, as I said um, in the earlier session that, you know, when you go to some of the websites, including the US Treasury, is still showing half a percent interest rate for the PPP, but that has been changed. It's now 1%. So we're just asking, you know, um, everyone to be <laughs> patient. So I guess an, an, another question is if, if someone is doing multiple businesses and they have different EIN numbers, should they be applying as um, different businesses, Absolutely. Uh, like multiple applications? Absolutely. Yes. Each application for each entity separately. Was there any, are there any other questions? I'm not understanding your, um, your question or comment, Emma. Was there anything else that we talked about in the Chinese session um, that maybe we could point out here that others might be interested in hearing? Yeah, we actually got a lot of really good questions from um, the Chinese session. So maybe let me repeat, if a person has a company, so they should fill up the form, release April 4th. But at the same time, if they're also a realtor, they should fill up another form that will be issuing April 10th. So apply two times because you are an employer, but you are also an independent contractor. Yes, because when you're applying, for the business you're applying for your, I mean, basically the amount you're, you're um, applying is 
for your employees, right? The payroll for your employees. Mm -hmm. Unless you have already taken into calculation your own, like your own commission. I mean, the, the maximum, you, you have to ex exclude anything over 100,000, right? So if you have applied in, you know, in the first application and you have, you know, included your own commission, um, then you should not apply again. Uh, someone's asking, where can we get help with the SBA application in terms of understanding the questions that are being asked so that the information provided is correct? Or do they just apply and try to make sure it's as complete as possible? And if there's issues, a lender will call them back. Yeah, so sba.gov is the official website that everyone should go and read up on this. But again, there's a lot of information out there. All you have to do is just Google PPP and there's tons of articles and information out there. But sba.gov is the website that you know you should rely on. There's so in terms okay. of the FAQ. There, to be honest with you, there isn't a whole lot. Because what you're gonna find online, very vague information. So there's a lot of questions that when you go over, you know, those fact sheets or, or FAQs, they probably don't even have uh, or address your question. Here's another question. Um, if you're retired, can a retiree apply for any loans? So not sure what kind of loans, but are there any type of loans that a re retiree can apply for? If you're retired, well, I mean, what I do know is just what we're talking about right here, um, the SBA loan. If you're retired, you don't own a business, you're not a self-employed, then you're not eligible for the SBA. How do they know or prove that we own 51% of the misuse property? Oh. Well, because if you are an existing SBA client or borrower, because when we do the underwriting at the time when you purchase um, the property, we do send the appraiser out there. So that was part of our underwriting process. Mm -hmm. And of course, right? I mean, things can change too. If you, at the time you bought the property, you did occupy or your intention was to occupy 51 percent but then you know your plan changed things change and you end up maybe just using one third and technically that does not qualify to be sba anymore and some banks they do um ask for annual financials whether or not they recall your loan i haven't heard of such but sba does have the right to do so and supposedly you need to refinance into a conventional loan. So another question is, is there a URL for the form that will be released on April 10th, I guess, for sole proprietors, or is it through your bank? Um, so every bank has their own uh, PPP application. And then what I've been hearing, um, lenders are also asking um, applicants to fill out the SBA loan application. Um, okay, so there's, go ahead, Annie. What kind of document SBA will be asking for? Is there any IRS 14506T to be signed? To, to be need so, to? so for this particular loan, I don't know if, you know, in my guess is yes. Because when you process, when we process SBA loans, 4506T, it, it is one of the required documents. And I believe yes, because when you submit your let's say your uh, 2018 business tax return um i'm pretty sure they're going to do a tr tax transcript to make sure there's no fraud and now if you haven't filed for 2019 and you um you have your 2019 financial statements your profit and loss and balance sheet yes it's very hard for them to you know um to um to check whether or not those numbers are correct. But then again, after you file, there your files, you know, if they just randomly check on you and do a 4506T, or if they just want to, you know, ask you to, you know, to provide a 2019, who knows, they might, right? 
just you know to to as part of their uh, compliance so that could happen but yes 4506 t i believe that is required but don't so call me the loan, yeah, because the loan for is sba loans that is required so i'm not sure um you know for these particular programs these uh, two programs are part of the loan uh, i mean uh, documentation requirement or not so this is part of the same question uh, this do uh, do both programs have ten thousand dollar grant? I guess they're confused between the ah. IDL and the PPP, right. and also what's the better program for a real estate agent that does not have any employees? So the EIDL is the one that has the ten thousand grant. Um, if anything outside of the ten thousand is a loan and at fixed rate of three point seven five percent, and the loan is amortized over. 30 years and there's a six month deferment. Um, the PPP is, a t if you don't get the forgivable portion, then it's a two year loan at 1%. Also has six months deferment. So, um, well, the max loan amount is 2.5 times the payroll, right? Can you add in any other expenses on top of that? Um, so for the amount that you um, request, that's what we were told, you know, um, borrowers can apply for. But the proceeds, however, you can apply towards your um, utility, your rent, leases, um, your owner, you, well, your mortgage interest, you know, owner user property and um, any business debt interest. But it doesn't mean it's forgivable because it says here that 75% of um, the proceeds have, you know, has to go to payroll in order for it to be considered forgivable. And so is, uh, there a, is there a better program for real estate agents to apply for or is it, should they apply for the EIDL and the PPP? Well, you can apply for both. It's just that you cannot use the funds um, for the same, you cannot use the proceeds for the same purpose. It's hard, I mean, at this point, I think it's hard to say which one is better. I think you have to look at, you know, whether or not you can pay the loan back, let's say if it's PPP in two years at 1%, versus the other loan is higher interest rate, but the, the loan is amortized over 30 years. So in terms of cash flow, you know, the EIDL loan, most likely your payment is gonna be lower. You don't have the stress of having to, you know, pay back in two years, um, you know, like the PVP. So I think everyone is different. So you really have to evaluate, you know, your, um, yeah. Uh, someone else asked this question, does the EIDL or let's say the PPP require any personal guarantee? Uh, no. So these, no, these programs do not require personal guarantee or collateral. Okay, another question is, you know, a lot of people have investment property and has lost rent or unpaid rent. Would that be the EIDL or PPP or both? Should each investment property apply separately or all the properties together if they are owned slash operated by one party right so uh, i think we we talked about this earlier i, mm -hmm. I think we did um that did. if you if you own investment properties according to sba's eligibility guideline you're not eligible for sba so whether or not they're going to treat this differently i haven't heard that they are doing that but again nobody is discouraging you from applying um, another one is um, one person says that he thinks that realtors can't get the PPP if they work alone and you can't use the PPP to pay your own loss commission. Can you talk about that a little bit? Because I think we, we touched this earlier. Can a realtor who works on their own apply for a PPP? Well, from so this again is one of the questions that I actually asked my bank. And I haven't gotten the answer back. I literally just asked um, this question yesterday and I haven't heard back. Um, but according to sole prop or self-employed, commissions are eligible as payroll. If you, if you go to um, the US Treasury website, um, there's 
So on the fact sheet, okay, which I was also trying to get clarification here, it says, let me see, it says salary wages commissions are, you know, are eligible. It is part of the so-called payroll. So basically you're capping it at a hundred thousand. So that's what is, you know, communicated. So I, yeah, so I would say, I mean, I, I can't say yes or no, but based on what I'm reading, it, it should be eligible. Thank you so much. Um, Eric is asking, do I need to be an existing Bank of the West customer for you to work with us? Yeah, because as of right now, we are, um, we only have the capacity to service our existing clients with business accounts only, whether or not um, we will make changes, I don't know. Um, I think a lot of the banks at this point, um, they're only able to service their existing customers because there's a lot of uh, compliance they have to take care of. So for example, when they apply, you know, when, when they process your PPP, they also have to process the compliance, what is called the KYC, know your customer, which is a bank, you know, these are bank regulations that every bank has to adhere to. And that particular process is not easy for banks. It's actually quite tedious because they have to review your entity documents. They have to do a lot of um, verification. Um, so let's put it that way. And then also I, I do want, um, I, I think, I do want to um, clarify that SBA, it is not eligible for, you know, people that have, uh, that it's only eligible for people that have green cards. So if you are a, you know, if you're here, you have a work visa, you have a business, or let's say if um, the parent company is overseas and you're operating under, let's say, um, you know, uh, an entity here in the U.S., but the guarantor, you know, is still, let's say the person who really owns the business is a foreigner, um, according to you know, SBA, you're not eligible. So again, whether or not this is part of um, the exclusion for these two programs, I don't know, but I'm just sharing with you that in the past, you know, for regular SBA 7A or 504 loans, um, those are the exclusions. Uh, there's a couple more questions. Uh, let's see. Can you answer this? Uh, James is asking, if you pay your own salary and healthcare in an S-Corp, the max PPP loan is 20,833.33, right? That consists of 2.5 months payroll capped at 100,000. If you only pay your own salary and health care in escort maximum PVP loan. So if you use. Oh, you mean talking about the 100,000 K uh, cap? Yeah, the 100,000 cap. Like, yeah. based on that, you know, it would be 100,000. Yes, that's correct. 12 months, that's 8,333.33. Times Correct. Yes, that, it's the maximum PVP loan amount. You can, yeah, twenty thousand eight thirty three point thirty three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, and then someone said, "Can I use my real estate commission from twenty eighteen instead of twenty nineteen? Especially, let's say, especially if they haven't done their tax return. Like, which ones? Which which years do you look at to determine?" Well, we were told that is from February fifteenth of 19 through February 15th of 2020. And there's a different calculation for seasonal um, workers, businesses. I am not familiar with that calculation, unfortunately. Hey. I don't see any other questions. Um, well, I think we answered this, which is, can you apply for both PPP and the EIDL at the same time and get yeah, loans from both mm -hmm. sources? Yeah. 
And One three, percent. yes, healthcare cost. Well, healthcare, um, the insurance premium, yes, that is part of the eligible, um, uh, you know, for the use of funds. Okay. So um, another question is from the previous version. Um, we want to ask, they have, their employer has already asked their employee to apply EDD and stop making payroll to them. Is he still qualified to get this PPP loan? And at the meantime of applying, shall he have all the payroll back to their employees? Yeah, so technically, again, we're talking about supposedly you're, you need to use the, the, the funds in eight weeks. So again, this is really, I know this is very, very tough um, for small businesses because, you know, first of all, you have employees and you don't know when you're going to get this money. You don't even know when the bank will finish processing, right? So it's like, do you keep them on your payroll? Do you let them go? <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have the answers to those. So that's why even as lenders, we're, we're just, you know, sharing amongst ourselves that, you know, this is really a big mess. It's, it's a nightmare, guys. It's, you know, it's supposed to be this great program, right? But it just turns out that it's a lot more messy than, I guess, our government officials <laughs> think there is to it. Um, because they're not the ones that are, unfortunately, processing these requests. And, Again, you know, in the 800 pages of document, you know, it's, we, we don't know. I mean, I haven't taken the time to read through 800 pages. So there's just a lot of, you know, and again, we, we don't have the answers to, but you're supposed to use the funds in eight weeks after you get it. Okay, this is a follow-up. And then let's say if you, if, if you, let's say, um, don't bring back all of the employees, or if you lower their uh, their salary, that has an impact to the forgivable calculation. You may not be able to get 100% forgiven. Perfect, so to follow up with that, Christine is asking if you get a loan from the EIDL and the PPP at the same time, do you have to return the funds to one or the other? So I guess what she's trying to ask is, is this all alone or is some of it forgiven? I know we've talked about this already, but if you can kind of mention that again, that'd be great. Mm -hmm, sure. So um, just keep in mind that you're not supposed to double dip, meaning let's say if you already have your 10 grand and you know you already used your 10 grand to pay your employee, then you technically are supposed to subtract the 10 grand from your PPP. And let's say, you know, you're, you, or you use your PPP and, you know, whether or not you, so I would, I think if you do get both programs approved, just bear in mind that you cannot use the proceeds towards the same purpose. Does that answer the question? Uh, I think so. There's another one that is, can I add healthcare costs onto the loan? Oh, we did answer that. No, we did. Okay. So insurance, insurance, insurance premiums does count towards payroll. Alex, let me see when you calculate. So I think we. Okay, so Alex, Alex, question. So Alex, question. Um, whether or not you include healthcare expenses as part of your payroll. Um, as far as we know, so payroll in pay, your payroll report, I mean, the proceeds, you can use it towards, again, insurance premiums, um, healthcare benefits, or even retirement contributions for your, for your um, employees. But I don't think you include the healthcare premiums. You need it's based on your payroll or your commission. Payroll average two point five yeah. x. Okay. Mm 
Any Anyone other else have any questions? So if I if I ask you for a while guess, Eileen, do how many weeks or days do you think that people will get a response when after they first submit their application? <laughs> Oh man, can I show you guys something? I'm gonna show you guys something. I literally have a sweat shop right here. Let me see if you can see him. Okay, this is my husband Phil. He works for he works for one of the corresponding um, SBA companies. And this is what he's doing. He's literally uh, processing <laughs> For 10, 14 hours, and same thing for a lot of my friends that are working at these big banks, and they're just working overtime, trying to process, trying to get to these applications as quick as they can. But it's so hard to say, because we have, you have people who aren't efficient with filling out their forms, or they just simply make a lot of mistakes on their forms, or not providing um, the correct documentation. So is it's a very is i can't answer you because it's just i mean i wish it's that easy i wish everything is streamlined online you know but it's not there's a lot of manual work um to do behind the scene oh this is a great comment um someone asked is there a sample of how a form can be filled Maybe you can give us one, you know, oh, yeah. name well, of something yeah, that you, looks you, right. There is, a, there is a sample form. You just Google PPP application. There is one. I think it's like, um, how many pages? It's very simple, actually. Maybe like two or three pages is very simple. But whether or not the banks actually use that form, um, I, I don't think so. I think banks have their own form, but I think that can give you um, at least, you know, an idea of what they're asking for. So um, I also have, you know, run into these issues and these are real guys. So if you have, because when the banks are doing these processing, they do run background checks, okay? And so your background, your, 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 basically everything will come up in these reports. And for SBA, if you have criminal background, if you have any record, criminal record, you're not eligible for SBA. So whether or not this is um, gonna prevent you from getting these loans, grants, I don't know. Um, and also if you have any tax liens, any delinquent tax liens, you're not supposed to use SBA proceeds to pay them. So I just want to, you know, uh, because I have really run into a lot of um, these in the past, you know, where we ask customers that, hey, you know, do you have any criminal background, any tax liens? And they simply say no, and or they just, check, or bankruptcy or whatnot, right? and they just check off the box, no, no criminal record. But then when we pull those reports, they come back and it's like, oh, unfortunately that's not true. So I just wanna you know, bring that up. Um, here's a question. If a regular taxpayer gets a stimulus check of $1,200 and also applies for the PPP program or the EIDL program, does this consider as double dipping? No, so, it does um, not. It does not. Just the EIDL and PPP cannot double dip, as far as I know. Okay. Uh, so just, just, just to talk briefly about that stimulus check. So as long as you make under $75,000, you get $1,200 plus an additional I think five hundred dollars if you for every child, and if it's husband and wife, you get twenty four hundred dollars. Um, if you make less than one hundred fifty thousand amongst the two of you, uh, if you exceed that, you can still get a stimulus check if you make less than ninety nine thousand for a single person, and if you're married, then it's I think a hundred ninety something thousand. There might be additional calculations if you have kids, but 
that's the general information. So can uh -huh. I find out my EIDL loan status on the SBA website by using my EIDL application number? Um, from what I've been hearing from my customer is that they only see uh, the application pending. <laughs> Did anyone, anyone have any success out there? Please let us know, share with us. Um, as, um, yes, I've only heard that their application is pending. Here's a question for you. Does EDD affect your ability to apply for these SBA and PPP programs? Because I guess this might be the first time ever that sole proprietors, part-time workers, uh, business owners, and people can apply for EDD. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So does yeah, that not, not that I know of, but again, I, you know, it could be hidden in, in that 800 page document that, you know, we're not reading. So <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, Janice, wait, um, one more. Do you have to submit tax return from tax return form to get PPP or last year 1099 will be acceptable? So like, you're, you supposed to, to you're supposed to, you're supposed to, yes, you're supposed to submit your 2018 tax return. Um, I mean, if you have, if you, you file separately for your business, if you have an entity, then your business tax return, um, and then 2019, uh, profit and loss and balance sheet. I see. All right. Okay. Any more questions? Please close our and a time. Um, it's four p.m. We are done. So, any more questions, Janice? And any? Oh, here's more. <laughs> so, I think we answered this as well, but let's answer this again. How do you define the monthly payroll? So Ada, um, so just remember when you do your average monthly payroll, do not count the employees. If if anyone's making a hundred thousand or more, you need to sub, you can only count up to a hundred thousand, and anything over that you cannot count towards the average monthly. Another question is the, the stimulus check. I mean, I know you're not a tax accountant, but the stimulus check for $1,200 from the IRS, is that considered gross income? Is that tax? I heard it's not taxable. Fabulous. I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be careful what I'm saying here because it's recorded. <laughs> yeah, double check with your tax accountant. Yes. Um, Any other Chinese questions? Yeah, we told the Chinese uh, session that they can come back at 4 p.m. if they had more questions. Okay, somebody is asking if they should meet in person to apply with a banker. My, my suggestion is no, um, unless banks have um, manual applications for you to fill out, but um, you can probably ask them to email you an application um so you know the the bankers at the branch um i don't know how much they know about these programs and whether or not they're given um i guess the forms for customers to fill out because you know you got to make sure to check back with your lender because every lender are doing every lender is doing it differently some they do have the online application and some yes they will email you an application so whether or not you can pick it up at the branch, um, I, I think you have to check with your bank. Because some banks, mo I mean, for the ones that don't have application, you have to leave your contact information on their um, website. All you have to do is just Google the bank's name and PPP. It should take you directly to that particular website. And um, if they have, you know, a, um, a field where you, you know, input your contact information. Um, that's what they would want you to do. Here's another one. There's, um, there are some new agents and some new agents started la late 2019 or early 2020 and they haven't done their 2019 tax return. How will the SBA know that that person is self-employed 
um, for the purposes of the PPP application. Do you have 1099? Even though you haven't filed your tax return, but you should have gotten your 1099 by now. Yes, she does. So would they just have to do a profit loss if they don't have their tax return filed yet? You should, yeah. You should have a profit and loss and also balance sheet. So how do they verify it? They can't, you just, it's just going to be an honest system, but then you do have to know that again, mm -hmm. this is, you know, you're dealing with the government. So, I mean, who knows if they're going to audit you or not, or they do reserve the right to. So you just have to, um, yeah, do your best. But hey, if you guys get some free money and you want to take me out for drinks, I'm up for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we all need to celebrate after all this. This is it, this is so crazy. I mean, literally, our phones and email. I mean, it's like it's been nonstop. Well, <laughs> Yeah. So Victoria, do you want to close this out? I don't think there's any other questions. No. Yes. So thank you everybody for attending a Korea's online webinar. So uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Arlene Chow, spending her time to chat with us for two hours. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's, it's fun doing this boring days. Oh, we all stay at home. You're the persons that talk to me the longest. I haven't talked to people for quite some time. So thank you very much. So if you have any questions, you can try writing emails to contact Korea. Um, and that's it for today. Or maybe keep those questions coming because, you know, as this evolves, I mean, we're going to get more questions and maybe you hear from other lenders. So would love to, you know, just you know, be in the loop. I mean, you know, it would be nice to um, know what, you know, um, how, how this, you know, rolls out really. Um, and if you have any success um, with these applications, it would be nice to know too. Yeah. Yeah. And I, let me just leave my contact information for everybody here. <laughs> Loli said, I can't use the funds for non-employee payroll. I know. <laughs> I would make my own drink. <laughs> um, one more thing. Uh, I think Victoria's our uh, fearless leader, the president of the Chinese Real Estate Association of America this year. And uh, we, uh, she plans on doing additional um, programming of the sort on Zoom to further provide more information to um, the public and our members. Right, Victoria? Yes, correct. That's our main goal. All right, okay. Should we say bye-bye now? Okay, bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. -bye. bye.